Good morning students. How are you all? Hope you all are fine and enjoying our videos which we are posting on YouTube. Today we are going to revise computer, the first chapter, computer history and generation. What we are going to learn today in this chapter is concept of counting, early calculating device, the first electromechanical computer, the first electronic computer, personal computer, generation and generations of computer. In this chapter, we will learn about history of computer and generation of computer. But today, we are going to learn about the history of computer. Concept of counting. The computer is an electronic machine that has to touch every aspect of our life, making our work faster, easier and well organized. We rely on computers for most of our daily work. Computer has, has its own history. It has been a combination of efforts and ideas of many people from all over the world. Computer is now being an important part of our life. We cannot even think our life without computer because it has become an essential part of our life. We are depending on computer fully. The concept of counting started with the existence of human being. In the ancient time, people used to count with the help of stones, pebbles, bones, stick, fingers, toes, etc. and store the information by making marks on walls, pillars, rocks, etc. In the ancient time, people uses different ways to count objects. Like they uses their fingers to count, toes to count, stones to count, sticks to count, even bones to count. Some of the people were drawing lines on the wall to count an object. In the course of time, it become difficult to do bigger and complex calculation with such objects. So people started thinking of some kinds of devices which could make their task easier. Thus the first calculating device Abacus was invented. I would like to add here that when the, when the calculation become complex, people were thinking then how could they solve this complex calculation. So, they have invented abacus. Ab now, abacus, what is abacus? Here we will study about abacus. Early calculating device. Abacus is one of the early calculating device which was invented about 5000 years ago by the Chinese. It is a simple calculation like addition and subtraction were performed using the ab abacus. It is still in use in different parts of the world. In this device, abacus, it was used to perform simpler calculation like addition and subtraction. Even today is also today it is also used in different parts of the Naper's bone. In 1617, a Scottish mathematician John Naper invented a calculating device called Naper's bone. This device is a set of rectangular rods marked with the number on them. Here you can see the figure of Naper's bone device. It was a device on which numbers were marked. It was mean for simple calculation like addition, subtraction, multiplication of numbers. Later on it was improved to perform division and to find square root. Nepos one was usually developed for the simpler calculation like addition and subtraction. But as the time passes it was also used in division and to find square root. Now Pascal. In 1642, a French mathematician named Blaise Pascal invented the first mechanical computing machine known as Pascaline. You can see here the device Pascaline and he is the scientist who, uh, who invented this device, Blaise Pascal. It consists of a box with a movable gear. You can see here different types of movable gears are present which could add, subtract, multiply and divide the number very easily. Liberal step reckoner. In 1692, the more advanced calculating machine named step reckoner was developed by a German mathematician Gottfried Wilhelm von Leibniz. It could perform all four basic mathematical operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. This was the device which was invented by German mathematician Gottfried Wilhelm von Leibniz. In this device, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division was calculated. Now, baby's analytic engine. 
Have you heard about the babies? He is also known as the father of computer. He invented the first computer. Now we will get the knowledge about Charles Babbage. In 1822, a mathematical professor of Cambridge University, England, Charles Babbage, developed a machine known as difference engine. It could perform mathematical operation automatically. However, in 1833, Babbage had a better idea and he stopped working on difference engine and started designing another machine called analytical engine. This is an analytical engine. It had five key features, input device, storage unit, processor, control unit and an output device. This analytic engine had five features which were input device, storage unit, processor and control unit and the last one output device. All these five features are found in today's modern computer. When you are doing, when you are learning the computer, you had already heard about these words. These features are now used also. Therefore, Charles Babbage is also known as the father of 